Hi everybody, Dr. Cobb back with you. I get tons of questions about why we do all the crazy stuff that we do in the health. We get asked all the time about eyes. Hey, why do you guys do vision training? Why do you do vestibular training, inner ear stuff? Uh, and so what I wanted to do today is teach you a very quick course in four minutes or less on Neurology 101. So get out a piece of paper, let's go through some stuff. You have a brain, all right? So let's draw a brain up here. You can't see that, that's actually a test of your visual system. We're gonna try a different color, all right? There we go. All right, a brain kind of looks like that. Now, a brain basically has three primary tasks, and this is what you wanna write down. First of all, it has to receive input. Okay, it has to receive input. And basically what I mean by that, if we choose a different color, uh, I have eyes, right? And my eyes are sending input. And I have uh, feet. Maybe your foot looks like that. And your foot sending input. Your whole body is sending input to the brain. All right, so job number one is to receive input. And the quality of that input is incredibly important. Just like we would think about with a computer, if you're trying to type a novel and you're not paying any attention to the keys that you're pressing, you're giving a lot of input, but it won't give you the end result that you're looking for. Okay, so we've got to have good input and there's a lot of it that has to be sorted out. So number two then, second task of the brain, is to receive that input and interpret it. Brain has to interpret and decide. Okay, so task number two is to take that information in and go, all right, what is it, first of all, the signal I'm getting from my eyes, is that the color blue, is it the color red, that's the interpretation, and does that matter? Oh, it's a stop sign. <laughs> yeah, it actually matters. So the decision part is very important. So then we go to the third thing that your brain or body, nervous system, however you want to think about it, has to do, which is create a, guess what, an output. And an output is all about muscles and reflexes and visceral responses and heart uh, function and blood pressure. And so, you know, if I'm here and I'm driving along and I see a red sign in front of me and I can interpret that it's red, my brain can go out. It's, it's red and it says stop, so that's a decision. It then has to send an output down to your foot so that you can do what? Press the brakes. Now, as goofy as that may sound, that's it in a nutshell. That's neurology in a nutshell. You have inputs, you have interpretation and decision, and then you have outputs. Now, if you understand this, it's a loop system, which means that the quality of the output, the quality of what I'm able to generate in the world, is incredibly dependent upon the quality of the inputs that I receive. Am I getting good ones? Am I getting enough of them? Does my brain understand what they are? Can it interpret it? Can it decide what to do with them intelligently? And then, ultimately, can I then send good signals out to the rest of the body to say, hey, this is what I want you to enact in the world? That's Neurology 101, guys. So, as simple as I make that sound, hopefully, <laughs> this starts to explain why we do what we do. Because if I look at the human body, I go, okay, how, what are the different ways that I can receive input? I can get it through my eyes, I can get it through my inner ear. I can get it through my muscles, my tendons, my ligaments, my skin. I can sense vibration and pressure and all of those different things. So if I'm working with you, as eHealth Trainer's working with you, we're interested in, hey, if I have you close your eyes and I touch your index finger and your ring finger, can you tell the difference? Because if you have lousy input, that's a big deal. Because it makes it hard for your brain to interpret. It makes it really hard to decide. And then ultimately, like I said, we're gonna look at the output. Meaning if I say, do a figure eight with your shoulder, can you actually do that? Can you coordinate it? Can you tell the muscles to turn on and off appropriately as necessary? Because that also tells us a lot about your brain. So whenever you start thinking about Z-Health and you, you read or hear about all the stuff that we do in a training environment, because this is what, again, where people go, you know, why are trainers talking about the eyes? Because it makes a difference in sports performance, because it makes a difference in the gym, because it makes a difference in pain, it makes a difference in rehabilitation. Everything that we do is based off of this basic concept of input, interpretation, decision, output. So what's the next step or what does this really mean for you? It's very important to me that you hear this part. Number one, if you have stuff that you've been struggling with, meaning you've got a bad shoulder, bad knee, bad back, I guarantee you this is the answer somewhere. You've got an input problem, an interpretation problem, or an output problem. You need to be working with people that understand this and can help you delineate or figure out what that problem is. 
So my recommendations are this. If you've been dealing with any kind of chronic issue, number one, make sure that you don't have anything bad that will kill you. That means go to your doctor, go to your healthcare professional, and get cleared for exercise. That's super important. But then if you're looking to work on these things, find someone that's maybe done some training with us or at least someone that can have this kind of conversation with you that's very clear that says, listen, I need to look at all the different sensory input that you can get. I need to look at how your brain's taking that information in. And then we need to do some tests to see, are your muscles working? Are your ligaments working? Are all those joints, uh, et cetera, working like they're supposed to? Because somewhere in that chain is the answer to your problem. So that's the health in a nutshell, neurology in a nutshell. I probably went over four minutes, but hey, it's neurology. All right. Have a great week, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.